Welcome to the Weekly Roar, coming live from the Lion's Den, helping new managers become great leaders and awesome bosses. And now, here's your host, Greg Storch. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining me today. Welcome to the Weekly Roar. <laughs> Greg Storch, owner of Lion Enterprise, host of the Weekly Roar, and the founder of a worldwide bartered coaching program called the helping hand. I'm a certified professional leadership coach and a certified leadership speaker and trainer. On today's episode of the Weekly Roar, I'm going to speak briefly about setting the example for others to emulate as a leader. You see, people do what people see. So you can understand why it would be important for leaders to have some awareness around this. What I love most about today's lesson is that it stretches from our professional lives to our personal lives. No matter what we're doing in life, our actions are always setting the example for others, good or bad. So let's jump into this and talk about how example is leadership. Last week, I mentioned the law of the mirror. When it comes to leadership, friendship, and even parentship, people do what people see. If we want our children to be good students or positive contributors to society, we have to be that for them to see. We have to model the behavior we want to see in them. The same holds true in leadership. When we expect excellence from those we lead, we need to model excellence in our own behaviors. Well, this probably sounds obvious to you, but not all leaders understand the importance of setting the example. One of the things that helped me do the best I can do with this over the decades of leadership was remembering one simple fact. Whether we know it or not, someone is always watching us. When you're the leader of the pack, the leader of the family, the company, a team, all eyes are on you. And when you think for one second that nobody's watching, <laughs> you're wrong. Strong teams, strong families, strong communities, and friendships all have something in common. They have strong leaders that lead by example. Leaders that show the way ahead. They consistently set the example on how to handle failures and model behaviors they want to see in others. And in that sense, employees, children, friends, and neighbors mirror the behavior they see. They walk in their leader's footsteps. They learn from their mistakes and contribute meaningful ideas. So what exactly is it when I say leading by example and what happens when we don't lead that way and when we do? Well, you've probably heard the saying, walk the talk. That's a short version of walk the walk and talk the talk. That's how we describe leaders who set the example. They do it in both word, talk, and deed, walk. We certainly can't have leaders that lead with a do as I say, not as I do mentality. That's the quickest way to lose followers, friends, and even family members alike. Leading by example means guiding others through our behaviors instead of just our words. The intention is to inspire others to copy our behaviors. I mean, if you think about it, leadership is influence, right? And how can we influence others? We do it through our own actions. Good leaders don't just lead by telling others what to do. They lead by showing others what to do. And they do that by setting a good example themselves. One of the greatest leaders in the sports world was John Wooden, the head basketball coach at UCLA for 27 seasons. He set a great example of what I'm talking about today. He strongly believed in being the example for others to follow. Now, I once read this story about Coach Wooden that said whenever he walked into the locker room, whether he was playing a game at home or if the game was away, 
If he found a piece of trash on the floor, he'd pick it up. If he found a towel on the floor, he'd pick that up too. (laughs) And because his players saw him always picking up stuff from the floor, guess what? They always did it too. Well, the story that I read went on to say that janitors would actually send him letters after his team played on the road saying, thank you for leaving our locker room so clean. (laughs) Well, John Wooden didn't have to pick up towels and trash from the locker room floor. He could have told his players to do it. He could have left it and had his team leave it for the janitors to clean up later, which was probably easier than just picking it up. But his simple actions encouraged his players to do the same things. He never had to tell them to follow his lead. He just showed them the behaviors he expected to see in his players. How we do anything is how we do everything. They're called leaders because they lead. So what do you think happens when we have leaders who don't set the examples? You've probably seen it before. That boss who tells you to stay late and then leaves promptly at five o'clock every day. Or that supervisor who's the first to recite company policies but never follows them, him or herself. No matter what the situation is, those double standards, seeing leaders say one thing and then doing another, always feels like a betrayal. That's why it's been proven that leaders who don't lead by example have to deal with poor work ethics from their followers. There's low morale, and they always will experience a high turnover rate in their employees. But probably the worst product is that there's a lack of trust and respect. And without that, a leader simply cannot lead. So what I want to do today is run through some of the ways that we can lead by example and how we can get better at doing that. It's easier than you think, but that's just it. You have to think about it. Now, this one is at the top of my list. One of the most important ways to lead by example is for us to value others first. And we have to see value in ourselves before we'll ever see value in others. Now, this is really a relationship issue at the heart of it, and it can be as simple as showing appreciation for the contributions of other people. Leaders have to display excellent communication and listening skills so that everyone in the organization feels valued and appreciated. Now, we can do that by being honest, fair, and having open discussions that include the welfare of the people we're leading. Valuing the contribution of others can enhance our ability to interact with people in a more meaningful way. One of the best ways that we can put into action the walk the walk saying is to get our hands dirty. It should be hard for leaders to ask others to do what they aren't willing to do themselves. Nothing will motivate a team quicker than when they see the boss in the trenches right alongside with them. So don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Not only does that create respect, but leaders can learn new skills from doing it and they'll better understand problems when they arise if they're familiar with what it takes to get the job done. This is a really great way to lead by example. And I've done that for many years in my own leadership. Now, here's another way to lead by example. Make good on your promises to others. We have to deliver on the promises we make. We all know that person who says they'll do something but never gets around to it. It's that same person who always sets that New Year's resolutions but never keeps them. When we can't keep our promises to ourselves, how do we expect we're going to show up for the people we lead? Leadership is all about showing up for the team and making the right decisions. Whether we like it or not, people hold us accountable for the decisions we make, and we ought to do the same. Good leaders understand that keeping promises to themselves is vital for their self-confidence, but it's also essential to deliver on the promises we make 
to others. Make good on your promises to others and you'll build an organization, your family, and even friendships that are based on trust. So make good on promises and always do what you say you'll do. And finally, I want to add listening to my list of things that will help us lead by example. We have to listen to those we surround ourselves with. It can be easy for leaders to get wrapped up in giving direction and managing others. Sometimes that gets in the way and we forget to listen to other people. But the good leader understands that they don't know everything and that they can learn something new from even the newest member of the team. Everyone has a unique gift and everyone has something to contribute to the team. We shouldn't hire people that we have to tell them what to do. We should be hiring people to surround us so that we can ask them what to do. See, we can't be expected to know everything as leaders. We don't know everything as leaders. We have to rely on the expertise of the other people we hire. That's why we hire them. I can't do finance. That's why I would hire a CFO. If the leader is doing the same thing as one of their managers, then one of them is redundant. Listen to others and allow them to help you. When you exercise this ability, it goes a long way in helping us to lead by example. So there are just a few ways that we can get better at leading by example. Learn to value others. Be willing to get your hands dirty. Make good on those promises that you make and get good at listening to others. These aren't the only ways that we can get better at leading by example. Examine your ethics and standards and make sure you always walk the walk and talk the talk. These will at least get you started on the path to being a good example for others, whether that's at work or at home. The old saying, actions speak louder than words, applies to every one of us. Work as hard as you can in every way. Do your best and work to get better. Set an example and be that role model. Your team is going to notice. Your family will notice. Your friends will notice. And they will follow your example. Well, since I shared that story about Coach John Wooden earlier, I thought it would be a great way to wrap this thing up with a quote of his that said, the most powerful leadership tool we have is our own personal example. All right, friends, that's it for today. I'd love to hear how you set the example for your friends, your family, your coworkers, the people that you're leading. Make a comment below and share some ideas with us. I'd love to hear what you have to say right here in the lion's den. And until we meet again, remember, be powerful, but stay poised just like a lion. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching the Weekly Roar live event at lionenterprise.com. If you enjoyed this video, please tell others to join us each week here in the lion's den. Thanks again and see you next week.